Hello everyone, welcome to today's scripting tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make simple pets. Technically, it's not really a pet script, but it's like the head, so like, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. To start things off, we're going to make a command um, that spawns the armor stand and the you know, at player. Um, let's see how this looks. So we can see that when we spawn it, it turns into an armor skin. It doesn't actually do anything, it's not visible, it doesn't have any head, and it doesn't have any functionality. So let's do that right now. But before we do that, we need to get some stuff from the NBT from Dig Minecraft. What is NBT, you may ask? I have no idea, but we're going to be using three different NBTs. Um, so let's, let's use that. So to use NBT with their armor stands, we're going to make these quotation marks and we're going to add brackets and we're going to go back to the page and we're going to find some of the npt stuff so we're going to get that and we're going to add it make sure you get rid of the brackets because we don't really need to do that and to add more we just add a comma and then the next one now we're going to add the invisible tag make sure you get rid of those brackets and we add another one and yeah that's pretty much it those are the three main ones that we need to do but when we actually spawn it, we can't even see if it works because we haven't gave it a head. Let's do that right now. So first things first, we're going to need to set the pet to a variable. We can do underscore pet. And then we're going to spawn it to the last spawned armor stand. Now we're going to set the helmet of the pet to, and then the player head. The player head's just a basic Steve head. So yeah. And there you go. In two minutes, we got this completely functioning uh, pet spawning, but now we need to work on the other functions. But we have to actually assign the pet to a UID so the script knows that like we're trying to make the pet move with this like player's pet and not other player's pet. So now we're gonna make it so the pet moves. We can start by making an on any move um, event. Now we're gonna check if the entity is a player. I also did a mistake on this part, um, I put at instead of is, so that's how to fix that. So now we're going to set some accesses. What is an access? Well, it's y, no, x, y, and z, which is, um, chord, 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 basically. <laughs> now we're going to need the x chord, and we're also going to need the z chord. We also need the world for the player. And now since we have the x, y, and z, and we also have the world, we can import it into a location. We can basically just put the X, Y, and Z. This has to be in the correct format. If it is not, then it's just gonna be weird. Um, and then it's gonna be in the correct world. So now since we're using that, vid that data, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna write teleport pets to players UID, or you can copy and paste it, whatever, to plus spawning two. So now let's test it. You can see that it teleports to the player, but it actually goes inside of the player. We don't want that, so let's fix that right now. So to actually fix this, we're going to do some addition to the um, Y chord. We do 0 0.5, 0 0.45, um, negative 55, and 0 0.75. And now when we go to reload it, it will actually teleport to the side, which is nice. But, um, I kind of want it facing me, so let's do that right now. So, using the underscore spawning two, we can add, um, two, um, we can add, um, the pitch to zero. We can also do the same thing, but instead of pitch, we can do the yaw. Um, for the tutorial, I'm going to use one, one, I'll do one, one hundred, one ten, I mean. Um, but now let's test it. So after doing that, it doesn't actually like look at you, but it's close enough and it's for the tutorial. So I mean, yeah. So using the example from the Y, X, and Z, I'm pretty sure that's what this format is. We're going to, instead of making it into spawning two, we're going to add the spawn to location X, Y, Z, of course. And then we're going to make it in world, just the world, because I don't want to specify it and stuff. Um... So now we're going to make it so it teleports, but we're going to add one 
um, to a counter. And this is actually how to make it like a spinning head. You know how on some servers, say Hypixel, um, the diamond generators have that like spinny um, effect. That's how to do it in script. And now after doing a ton of coding, it moves, but it doesn't actually move super fast. Um, it all it takes is just one data value change and it goes faster. But anyways, that's my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.